I am Leanne Morris, Head of Maths at William Parker Sports College in Hastings. The module of work is called the Jet Setters and it is where students are placed in groups of either three or four and they are given a, um, a letter of congratulations to state that they've got £1,500 to visit a particular city and that city is actually determined by a set of coordinates which is obviously pre-selected by the member of staff. What city would you find in Brazil? I'll give you a clue. It starts with R. Rio. 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 Well done. Excellent. Well done, Matt. Rio. So students will work on the project where they've got to sell their holiday package and promote their city as a prime destination for holiday makers. You are now going to be given a pack with resources, like your letter suggests. Most of the information is included in the booklets that I've constructed. In these booklets, each one has the city name and the country on it. And in the inside, it has all the mathematic information they need, most of it, in fact, that will help them complete their project. They're then given, in the pack, a jet setter task booklet. In the booklet, it goes task by task list of every activity that they're going to need to do. What's the range the exchange rate? Have a look. Uh, 0.04. 0.084. Oh, yeah, not 8.4p is around 1. 1 divided by 0.084. This project is run over a series of five one hour lessons, and um, we target it mainly at students' grade C and D, helping students to identify areas of strength and actually allowing them the opportunity to move on from actually grade C as well. So where there might be the borderline of grade C, D, this reinforces topics and actually applies it to real life. Right, gents, can you face this way, please? I'm just going to stop you for a moment. What we're going to move on to now is, in your folders, you will find an assessment sheet for each of you. So can you please get your assessment sheet out? So each student will have a pupil self-assessment sheet and the sheet will have mathematical areas that are covered in the project. So at maybe um, lesson number two, students would highlight where they feel they're at at that stage in the project, what skills they feel they can confidently do, and they will highlight that. And going on further to lesson, um, maybe the lesson before their final presentations, they would then go back to these sheets and highlight any further mathematical areas that they can now confidently do. We need to tell them how much. Oh, yeah. We need to figure out how much it's going to cost in here. Okay. What uh, well, a statue. <laughs> <laughs> that could be one of the tourist um, things. Yeah. Only because they want to all the um, temperatures or just the year for yeah. finding the average. What do you think you should do? What would be best to represent the temperatures? My role as a teacher in this lesson is to facilitate the learning and ensure that students are actually developing their own skills as well as sharing ideas and learning from each other. So the idea is that the teacher will ask the probing questions and lead students in the right direction rather than saying this is how you do it, this is what I'd like you to do. It allows students to become creative and responsible for their own learning. Now we're going to move on to the final part of the project, which is your presentations. Hello and welcome to New York City. Our city is most famous for its huge park called Central Park. The Statue of Liberty is also a famous place to visit whilst you're in New York. All, all like our maths that we actually done for the New York and we've got like bar charts for all the temperatures. Uh, pie charts for the population and as you can see it was quite hard on one of the low temperatures as they actually did go into the minus. We have our times for leaving the airport and coming home as well. Yeah. Right, well done you guys. Can we give them a clap? <laughs> fantastic. I think this is a fantastic lesson. It makes maths real. It allows students to have fun while being taught maths and it's moving away from the traditional chalk and talk. It gives students the responsibility for their own learning as well as having fun. So that is why I think this is a great lesson. I have multiple resources here for students to use throughout the course of the activity. The first resource that they'll receive is their congratulation letters. These letters here tell them basically what the project's going to be about and the city, the coordinates of the city that they're going to have. 
So they need to use that coordinate then to look on a map, latitude and longitude, and find their city that they have won. And they're also given a check for 1,500 pounds to go along with that to help them with the cost of all of their trips, their side trips and their itinerary. Right, the next thing that they'll get is a booklet of the Jet Setter tasks. In this booklet, gives the students a day-by-day -day breakdown of all the activities or tasks that they're to complete that are mathematics related. So it includes things like finding the distance, speed, and time of their flights. Other tasks involve creating pie charts with demographics that they'll get in their booklet, which I'll show you in a minute. And they'll also have to do bar charts and conversion between Celsius, Fahrenheit, millimeters, inches, and so on. And also in it, it tells you all the criteria they'll need for their presentations that they'll have in the end of the project. And the most important bit of information that all the students will receive is this brochure. Each city or each group will receive a brochure going to their city. And on the cover, it has a few pictures, the city name and the country. And in the inside, it has all the mathematic information they need, most of it, in fact, that will help them complete their project. I've also included myself on this, put a bit of touch of my own city in there, New York. So all of these resources will be available to you, and you'll be able to use the project for your own classrooms. So have fun.